Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today. Before we get started, be sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun crafty content we have coming. Now in today's tutorial, we are going to talk all about how to upload images into Design Space. I'm going to go over everything from the simple single color SVG to the multicolor SVG and images that maybe you find somewhere else like on Google that are JPGs or PNGs. We'll go over all the different ways to do this. This is a pretty comprehensive video, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a simple SVG first, and this is honestly the easiest item that you can upload into Design Space. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to download the file, because that's super important when you're working in Design Space. So I'm on uh, designbundles.net. I'll link it down below if you want to check out this specific design, but I'll also link the website down below. I'm going to do this hand lettered fall phrases and I'm just going to click download files. Now they have um, several different types of their download here. I want to use the SVG only one. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to open up my folder and ask me where I want to save it. Now I have a fall folder, so I'm going to save it in there and click save. Now our next step is one you cannot skip. You need to open up the folder that you just downloaded and then you need to extract it in order to access your designs. If you don't extract it, Cricut can't access them and it won't work. So you always have to click extract all and then extract. Once it's extracted all of our files, we can definitely close the other folder. So you'll close this one that has the extract right here and go ahead and just get rid of that. Then we can open up the fall phrases volume two and you can open up the SVG files. Now, not all folders are gonna have quite as many folders to go through. You may have one folder, no folders. It just depends on the artist and how they set it up. Now, because of the way my computer is set up, I don't have a default program selected for my SVGs. So I cannot preview the SVG on my folder. I do this because I use a lot of different programs and I want the option to open them in different programs a lot easier than if I just selected a default one. But what you can do is click on them and it will open up your design so that you can see what it looks like. So you can just choose whichever one you want to use and it's really up to you. Do whatever you want. But we're going to use the fall my fave color one here. And what we'll do is head over to design space and I'll show you how to upload this. It's super simple. Now, like I said, doing these standard SVGs is the easiest upload you're going to have and the easiest one as far as like cutting it out and all of that. So what we'll do is we're going to click upload. Then you're going to choose upload image, which is this green button right here on kind of the left hand side. Now, there are two ways that you can upload that image. One way is to browse, which would mean you click through all your folders. So if you click browse, you would have to go into like your, you'd have to go to your desktop. Then you'd have to go to your Cricut folder. You would have to find your fall folder. Then you would have to find that um, folder, go through all the folders to get to the one that you want. And then you can do fall is my favorite color and double click on it. But I prefer to leave my folder open and drag and drop the images. All I have to do is have this folder open and then I click and hold on the design that I want, drag it over and release my mouse button to put that image into design space. Now this is an SVG, which means that we don't have to do anything like removing the background or anything like that. Now I've seen a few people mention this, so I wanna bring this up in the video right now. Um, if you look, your SVG right now looks really blurry. This is something I think that's been going on with Design Space for a little while. And depending on when you watch this, this may have been fixed. But at the time of filming, your SVG may look really, really blurry. Don't worry, it's not. It's just a flaw in Design Space. All we have to do from here is click Continue. And like I said, we don't have to do anything as far as background removing. But what we can do is rename our image. So I'm going to call this Fall is my favorite color and then you can use these tags and these tags are what's going to help you 
find your image in your uploads if you want to search them. So I add tags like fall, favorite color, uh, let's do autumn, we can do hand lettered, um, you can do all sorts of things and that should be two words. But you can add whatever works for you as far as like what you would think to search for if you were gonna search for your design. And then from here, we can add it into any of our collections or create a new collection. If you've got Design Space Access, you can have as many collections as you want. So I'm just gonna create a fall collection and I can add it to that right there. Then all I have to do is click Upload and it's gonna put it directly into our canvas. This is super simple. Like I said, this is the easiest one that you're going to use. Now from here is where you're going to do things like change the sizing, decide what you're cutting it on, if you're gonna use HTV or anything like that. Now for this, I'm just showing you how to upload them and I'll link a couple videos down below that I think will be really helpful. If you wanna know more about cutting um, on both vinyl or HTV and different ways that you can work with your SVGs, that way this video isn't super long. So this is one really simple way that you can upload an SVG. Now I wanna show you a multicolored SVG as well so that you can see what that looks like. For our multicolored SVGs, I'm gonna be using a bundle from Creative Fabrica. Again, I'll link everything that we're using down below in case you like any of the designs. But we're just gonna choose one of these super colorful ones and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So again, all you have to do for these types of images where you're downloading them from a website, they're made to work with Cricut, all you simply do is click download and then it will again open up your folder, ask you where you wanna save it. I'll save it in my fall folder, click save. And then again, you're gonna to need to extract that folder. So I'm gonna click on it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click Extract All and click Extract. Now, this folder is set up a little bit funny. It's not the way I would ever set my folders up. They have each one in an individual folder based on the design. It's gonna be really difficult to find a design this way, but it's fine. We can definitely check it out. I'm just gonna click on the first one and show you. You'll see that they have multiple file options in here. You've got PNGs, you've got the SVGs, which are your HTML documents, and then you have EPS, and then you also have another PNG. So it looks like we've got white versions, we've got black versions, and we have colored versions. If you wanna see a preview and your computer isn't showing you one, right click in your folder, view, and then view the large icons, and it will show you the designs in the PNG format, and you can just match those up with your SVG. Now, I don't wanna use this one. I have one that I saw that I really liked, so I'm gonna go and search for it. And like I said, this is one reason that I don't really love the way that this is set up, because it's gonna take me a minute to find it. I found the design that I want to use, and it's this one right here, flannels, uh, hay rides, pumpkins, sweaters, bonfires. It just has a lot of color, which is why I wanna show you how to use this as an SVG. So we're gonna head over to Design Space again and we'll upload our image. So nothing changes because it's still an SVG. This one just has more colors. So what I'm gonna do is go to Upload. I'm gonna click Upload Image again, and then I'm gonna drag and drop that image. We're gonna be using the colorful one. So I want the Fall 04, but I wanna make sure that I'm using the SVG, which again is our HTML document. I'm gonna drag and drop that over into Design Space. And then all I have to do is click Continue. Again, noting that it looks really blurry, but I promise you it's not. It even looks blurry on this screen. Now again, I'm going to change the um, wording on this. So I'm gonna call it Fall, Flannels, Hay Rides, Pumpkins, List. I spelled pumpkins wrong, it's fine. I'm gonna click upload and then it will again add it directly into my design space. Now this one is a little bit different because it has all of the, um, what I would call distressing in it. And you can definitely get rid of that if you want to, but that's again, something we'll go over another time. But what I wanna show you is if you click on the little arrow here, you'll see that each of your colors is its own separate layer. That's gonna allow us to cut this on to our um, HTV or our uh, vinyl, whatever we're cutting it on a little bit easier. I'm gonna hide this really quick just so you can see what this will look like if you cut it on to a like project or onto a material. 
just so you get an idea of how those letters are going to look because there's so many different colors. So each of the colors is going to have its own mat. So you see we have like the the pinky color, we've got orange, we've got brown, a different shade of brown, then you have orange, green, and blue. So each of those items will cut on its own mat and then you would piece them together. Again, I'll put some links below that'll be helpful for layering HTV or vinyl when you're working with multiple colors. So now that we've done kind of the easy designs, let's talk about if we found something on Google that we wanted to use and we can upload really any image to Design Space, which I think is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this one as well and let's go over to Google and look for just a random image. Google you can really look for anything that you want to but for this I'm gonna look for an Eeyore coloring page and I like to look for coloring pages especially for characters because they're gonna be a little bit easier to create and upload to add color to them so you can kind of make your own layered designs now I will put a video down below that's gonna go way more into detail on how to do this because I'm gonna show you this kind of quickly because it is one of those things that's just kind of a little more involved and I don't want this video to go on for hours. So you find whatever design you like, whatever one you want to use. Now I do recommend that you look for something with a little bit of a thicker line. You want to look for something that doesn't have a lot of like this extra detail on it because that just makes it a little harder to turn it into like a simple SVG, but you can use something as simple as like this little guy or I like to just use the ones that are just the character. Now they have a very, very cute um, version of these, which are called Zoom Zooms, which is T-S-U-M. Um, and I love the little look of these little Zoom Zooms. I think they're so cute. And this is like a super simple one that I can show you how to layer without a whole lot of like detail. Now you see they give us a bunch of different characters, which is fine. We can use whoever we want, it doesn't matter. Let's do this Dumbo. He is really stinking cute. So all I'm going to do, oh, they have a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to grab this Dumbo. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to sit save image as. And for this, I'm going to go back into my Cricut folder and I'm going to go into my Disney folder and I'm going to save it into my coloring page and we'll call it Dumbo. Go ahead and click save. Now we're going to go over to design space and I'm going to show you how we do this so that we can add all the colors to him. In Design Space, we're again going to be using the Upload Image option. So we're going to click Upload. Then you're going to click Upload Image and you're going to click Browse. Now from here, again, we could drag and drop. But for this, I'm just going to go into my Quick Access folder. And what you've downloaded recently or opened recently should be right here so we can click on it. Now it'll say, you know, it shows you kind of all your compatible files. Now, unlike when we did the SVGs, this one is going to bring up a Background Remover option. Now, because I don't like using Design Space Access and I want to show you how to do this without using it, I'm going to show you all you need to do is click any of the white areas on your design that you don't want to be filled in. So we only want his outline. So I just want to make sure that I've clicked all of the pieces. Now, I know sometimes it can be a little bit hard, but what you can always do is you go to preview single layer. Now, one thing I'm glad it did and I want to show you, do you see how like it has all these little speckles and like this little section didn't come apart? All I'm going to do is click back. I'm going to go ahead and browse through that file again and just put it back in. You could also have hit undo, but that would take forever. But if you get a file that ends up being a little bit crackly like that, as I call it, go down to your color tolerance and reduce colors. And I want you to change your color tolerance to 100 and then remove all of those little colors all the white sections and it should do a much better job. Now if we preview it, it's going to look a lot smoother. It's not perfect, but this one will do for what we are doing. Then all I want to do is click apply and continue. And for this one, I want to save it as this single layer image here in the center. It's only going to give you these three options if you're uploading certain files like a PNG or a JPG because they don't see that as a um, layered project. So you have to tell it what you want it to do. So we want to use this as a single layer image because this is going to be your cut image. Go ahead and click continue. And this is again where you're going to kind of upload that information and add whatever you want to it and click upload. 
Now that I've got my design, I'll show you really quickly what I do. Um, I'm gonna make him a little bigger and then I wanna duplicate him. Now I want one that is fully filled in because that's what we're gonna layer on. So when I go into contour, I'm gonna hide all contours and you'll see that now it's a solid black piece. Now I wanna make each of the parts of my Dumbo colored. So what I do is I duplicate the Dumbo and I wanna do all of his gray parts. So I go into contour and I need to hide the outline first. So I just click on it until like that outline kind of highlights. And you'll see over here, you can see where our Dumbo is now like a black silhouette. So I'm gonna get rid of all the pieces that are not going to be gray. And that will be all of those pieces. And then I just turn this one gray and I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the back so that I can layer on top of this so you guys will get a good idea. Now you're gonna do that for each individual color. You'll duplicate your um, Dumbo. I like to move it over here just so I can kind of see it. Then again, I'm just gonna get rid of the outline and then this time I'll do his hat. And like I said, I'm not gonna go through every little piece for you just because it will take forever, but you get the idea of what this is going to look like. So I'll go ahead and finish this up just so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Now you can see the general idea of what I created is a multicolored SVG, so to speak, in Design Space that I'm gonna be able to cut out with HTV or vinyl. And I'll show you what that looks like on the mat just again so you can kind of get an idea of how we did this. So we have our background, our pink sections, our yellow hat, and our gray part of our elephant. You can do this with just about any image, but I do find it works best if you have something that has the black outlines. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this with an image that does not have the black outlines so that you can see another way that you can upload this with a multicolored image. Now I'm gonna show you how to upload an image that doesn't have that background on it to make life easier for you. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's really easy. So I'm just using a PNG that I got off of Google and it's just a little fox, so I'm gonna browse for it, find it in that quick uh, folder. Then I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image and I'm just gonna click continue. Now for this image, I want it to be one solid piece to begin with. Just like how we did Dumbo with that solid background, I want a solid background to um, layer everything on and my solid background is going to be all of the orange because that's where the most color comes from so i'm not going to do anything to him here because he is a transparent background all i have to do is click apply and continue i want to save him here as a single layer image and click continue i'm going to go ahead and just click continue here and upload and he'll go right into my design space um canvas now I need to upload the other two colors that he has. So I simply click upload, upload image. I browse again and I open that same Fox. Go ahead and click continue. And then for this one, we're gonna get rid of all of the orange parts and the brown parts. Now again, remember that color tolerance. I wanna change that to 100 again. Go ahead and you can remove all of his little orange parts and then you can just remove these two brown parts. These eyes won't matter, they'll just blend in. So you can leave those there. Click apply and continue. And again, we wanna save it here as the single layer image. Click continue and then click upload. Now I like to recolor my designs as I bring them in just so that it's easier for me to kind of know what I'm working with. So I'm just gonna change this to like light yellow and it doesn't matter what color it really is and make him orange. And then I can just lay this right here and you'll see that everything's gonna line up. Now I'm not gonna resize this just yet because I need to bring in that brown part of him. So you wanna do this upload for each individual color of your image. So if your image has four colors, you're gonna have to do this four times. If your image has eight colors, you'll do it eight times. So it just depends on your design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click continue one more time, change that color tolerance to 100. And this time I'm getting rid of everything that is not the color brown here. So we see we have the brown eyes, the nose and his little foot, and we're gonna click apply and continue. Now again, I wanna change and keep it as the single layer. Click continue, click upload. And then from here, we can just change the color of this so that it will match for what we want it to do. So I can make it like a light brown 
and then we'll line it up and then like I said I'll make this bigger and this lineup is not perfect but I'll make it bigger so you can kind of see all of our different parts so now you see we have that fox but now we have him able to be layered with all of our different image sizes and pieces so that is another option if you want to create a design that you find in Google you can literally upload any image any wording that you want to you just might need to play around with the um, coloring a little bit you may need to play around with some of the color tolerance but you can definitely do it now that is just a couple of ways that you can upload images into design space if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below or if you're looking for like something specific to help you walk through uploading or working with an image let me know and I'll link it to you I'll also put some really helpful links in the video's description down below. That way you can grab some of those if you're looking for a little more detail on some of these projects. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.